direct from Albany, New York, it's time for The Media Zone! With your hosts, Ed and Dave! Tonight, a look at this week's new film and DVD releases! And the chance to win free movie tickets with the Poster Pairs game! And now your hosts, Ed and Dave! Hello! Welcome to the Media Zone, Ed and Dave here. Ed and Dave with you in a very sticky oh, August 14th. I'm stuck to the seat. <laughs> I don't know because we tape a little ahead, Dave, but mm. I'm sure by the, a week or so when this airs that it's still going to be a little hot and muggy. Uh, I, 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 can't even, I can't even speak. It's been so brutal. Like you go outside at 5.30 in the morning, Ed, and it's still... Sticky, sticky sweet, sticky sweet summer. Vile. Oh, it's gross. I say it's vile out. <laughs> it's is vile? It, is it still vile? I peek my head out at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> is it still vile out there? And it has been. You know, as the older I get, the the less I like anything over 80 degrees. I yeah. can't tolerate it anymore. No. I can't do it. What, what, where, where did the days go when it was 90 and I'd say, I'm going out to cut the grass? And say, so, what are you, crazy? I said, no, I'm going out to cut the grass. Because I'm all man, oh. <laughs> and I can do that. Now I can't. Now I, I cut, I don't know, six or seven blades, because the rest is hay. Yeah. And then I run in and chug down 12 ounces of water, and then go out, cut another few blades, and chug down 12 more. I can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Well, last Monday I mowed the lawn, <laughs> and apparently somewhere towards the end, it always happens right at the end, I think the spark plug... Well, okay. <laughs> Got, uh, I don't know the one the last time that was changed because I took it out of there and it was uh, like coal. <laughs> I, I think the metal piece would have snapped off. So uh, one side of the uh, yard is all uh, overgrown oh. still. Oh, I got to no. get out there with a... You're the neighbor's worst nightmare. Get out there and take care of your area. Yeah. Well, that's the neighbor that woke me up last, <laughs> last year pulling an entire row of 40 foot pine trees out while oh. I'm trying to sleep on my day off so they can live with a little more grass over there for another week. <laughs> Thank God I was going to see Rise of the Planet of the Apes that oh, day. Okay. But that didn't help when I was awakened at 7 o'clock. That's about your bedtime though. Uh, not on Monday. Oh, not on Monday. No. Ugh. Can't get over these lights. <laughs> it's been well over a month now. So They're it's still just, pretty. It's a little well, disconcerting. It looks a little off, though. It looks like you have more light than I have over here. Were they put in the mm. same uh, spot? Mm. You've added a couple. Oh, you yeah. added things on top. Oh, oh you kind of stretched it out. Yes. With, with upper lights. Okay. But yes. see, our see our, our our look at give me back to the two shot. Our facial coloring is not too bad here. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to say darker, but I look a little redder. But look over here. <laughs> Is it, am I coming through with this color of I'm red? wondering if our upper green light might be throwing it off because uh, wow. the colors were perfect last time. Wow, that's We awesome. may have to... Can you turn off those from your vantage point, those extra lights? Um, now, now let's see if Dave's... No, I'm still brutally I, red. You know what we need, which I didn't do tonight, is the old... The old white balance card. Oh, there you That's go. That's what might have helped. I went around to every camera <laughs> individually. <laughs> Yeah, white pallets. I think what we need up there is some uh, maybe white uh, coloring. Yeah, I think those extra lights uh, toyed with our uh, with uh, yes. our, our nice uh, LED lighting. You think after forty years you have some lighting figured out by now? <laughs> we did last week. I don't know what happened. The producer went mad down here while he was sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> with some extra light bulbs and threw them up there. He had to, he had to do something. There's no cable down here. No, you didn't watch any. He didn't watch any television down here. What'd you do? Just get tired and say I'm going in the basement and take a nap. <laughs> I think I would have found some way to put air conditioning in my upper house, even though the windows are of odd shapes. They, 
man, <laughs> man, man is clearly wealthy, but yet can't can't get a ninety nine dollar window unit to throw in there at least cool off the bedroom so you can sleep. I put uh, a ho- people have put the holes in the walls yeah. even to put an air conditioner. A permanent unit, right? Yeah. Especially well, at Demarco's. I started that. something. We're a movie show. And we yes, have not we mentioned do. the fact that we're going to be showing some movies. Though. No, but when we get back, uh, we tend to carry on a we bit. We do. Uh, first taping back. But we do have The Expendables. That's a big film. We have The Odd Life of Timothy Green and, and Paranorman. And Sparkle, the Sparkle. last uh, oh. film of Whitney Houston. <laughs> this is the last gasp of summer here. We're getting everything out. And I'm so gasping. I- we're gasping from the air. Yeah. Let's start with yours, day. Let's start with the odd life of Timothy Green. Like the color back here. <laughs> uh, from Walt Disney Pictures, which stars Jennifer Garner, Joel Edgerton, as Ed pointed out, C.J. Adams, Diane Weist, and Common. The odd life of Timothy Green is an inspiring, magical story about a happily married couple. Couple. Cuppy? Couple. Cindy and Jim Green, who can't wait to start a family but can only dream about what their child would be like. When young Timothy shows up on the doorstep one stormy night, Cindy and Jim and their small town of Stanleyville learn that sometimes the unexpected can bring some of life's greatest gifts. Ready PG for mild thematic elements and brief language. Another one of those odd kid stories. I, you know, I don't even, I have no clue what this film is about, Ed. You just read the uh, well, blurb. I know, but well, I mean, like, what is he? Is he some kind of, you know, is he... It's a dirty is boy. Is he an angel? <laughs> is he an angel? Is he a devil? Is he just some kind of mystical being um, to help uh, society as a whole? What is this, Ed? Well, remember that film, Michael, which I never saw, where John Travolta yes. was supposed to be an angel? I did see that film. Was he an angel? This or was actually he... a film I saw you did not see. No, I never saw that. Uh, he was, I don't remember. <laughs> you don't even remember. If yeah, you... he did. He had a little angel wings. He under... was a real angel at the end. I believe so. Hmm. What do you think will happen to this young boy at the end of the film? Um... <laughs> will he go back and he'll be beaten because he's a, a, a plant child? <laughs> They did this. It's like this, attack on mushroom people. <laughs> yeah, this isn't a new idea. They did this with that dreaded Lost in Space episode. <laughs> <laughs> with a giant carrot man. <laughs> this is stolen from Erin Allen. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what to make of this film. I don't know. Uh, I suppose if I want to be inspired, I will go see this film. Or perhaps burn the soles of my feet at a Tony oh, Robbins oh, gathering. <laughs> <laughs> this might be safer. But I just don't know, and I don't know. It's odd. The odd life. Then there was that thing with the the boy who was white. Powder. 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 Another weird. Did you see that film? I never saw it. I saw one. that one. That's two. Was he a real white boy, or was... <laughs> What was his problem? He was an albino? Uh, yeah, he had some bizarre powers. I, I vaguely remember the film when I saw it, but he had some odd powers. I think he kind of, I don't know, disappeared at the end of the film through some lightning strikes or something. I don't know. Yeah. But it, was, it wasn't bad. It was fairly entertaining. <laughs> you know, you got to be in the right mood for these kind of films. <laughs> what are you doing over there? <laughs> oh, he's... The producer's sweaty. We got a shelf life on the air conditioning here. We had to shut it off. Apparently it's 10 minutes. <laughs> Do you hear the fan in your headphones? We're okay with the fan. We might have to uh, kick in the air conditioning. Turn on the air conditioner, start ironing some clothes. Let's just sap this place of all the electric electricity. Ooh, you know, there's a storm blowing in too, so let's hope we don't lose our... No, no. We should have started early. You know, Lelac's not here tonight. And she said she was coming, but the last post on Facebook, <laughs> she was at some Renaissance fair in 90 degree heat. Oh boy. So God only knows, I know some of the performers are probably down in those uh, <laughs> giant costumes and if they have knights jousting, but I don't know if she was hit with a stray blade because <laughs> we have no, no uh, even uh, phone contact. You know what? I wonder if that... Uh, they don't have cell phones back in the uh, renaissance you know i don't i think i sent it to her old number from oh. the phone that was stolen that's what happened i had a nice joke in there too <laughs> <laughs> i'll have to see if i 
found is her oh, number. No. Okay, maybe in between uh, one of the reads here. Well, paranormal is on. I'll try and find. Okay, it. <laughs> do that. Her number. <laughs>